Yeah, we are gonna get we're, real we're super gonna say, We want it. We, we want our team picked. We got to be on your show. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go, kids. There you go. You know the secret. All right, Johnny. Let's go to the next league. This was the league, my league, last year. So let's take a look at these teams we have. All right, we got the South Carolina Broncos, the Lightning, the Diamonds. Let's see if I know it. Another Bonnie Rig team and the bench warmers. All right. Any team? Uh... Ah, yeah. Johnny Everett wants to know what team you have from the, uh, the Happy Valley League. So if you want to type that in the box or make an appearance, that'd be great. Uh, so, uh, Pez, what team is standing out here for you? Um, just having a look now. Just, just looking here, it looked like this league valued quarterbacks a lot more than some other leagues. Oh, yeah. Johnny's going to do all his picks uh, on tomorrow's show. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, off my head here, I'm looking at Lightning. I kind of like that they went <clears throat> Lamb, William, Lave, Collins. I'm still kind of not sold on, but they waited until the fifth round. Uh, they followed uh, Craig's and I's advice in our show that we had to wait when we did the uh, mock draft to draft late quarterbacks. Uh, you know, he's got Bobby Wagner, which you mentioned is a tackling machine, and Jake Ferguson. Lightning's not looking too bad so far. Uh, what's your thoughts? Yeah, he did uh... – I do like it, but like you say, I agree with you, Nico Collins. Uh, that high, I'm not really sold. Um, like I would have gone, um, Ramondre. He takes a big, a big hit to the knees on the uh, DeAndre Hopkins because that injury could l drop him down. People, people are forgetting that the Titans do have Tyler Boyd. I only realised that mm -hmm. the other day myself. I'm like, oh shit, is that where he is? Like. Tyler Boyd's no scrub himself. So with DeAndre mm. being out, that just puts him in the spotlight. So there's a few, unfortunately for him, there's a few like hits he's took in his team. Um, no fault of his own, really. Um, the one that took my eye, because you've always got to remember, you've always got to remember that it's a, Three wide receiver league, and it may, it does it does add a bit of a complex with all the IDP and the tight end premium. Johnny's done a really good thing with like there's so many ways you can shoot yourself in the foot with your lineup. But um, I do like the Belfast ben bench warmers. He has gone Josh Allen first over like in his first round, but if there's one quarter one quarterback who's shown consistency enough, who you will take that on is. Josh Allen, um, Saquon Barkley. One quarterback. Saquon Barkley. I'm not. There's too many unknowns of him. Isaiah Pacheco in the third round, I think, is great. And then DK Metcalf, Terry McLaurin, um, Jordan Addison. The one I do really like, and I think people are gonna be kicking themselves when everything's said and done, is Christian Watson. Now, Johnny has made a point he doesn't have a backup quarterback. I don't know why he's done that, but he's got four. He's got four IDPs. Bots a bit. Yeah. He's got four great IDPs, but I don't understand his logic behind not picking up a quarterback. All right, Johnny, let's look at the next five here so that we can uh, make sure that uh, we meet our time here. And here we go. Oh. The, the juggernauts stood out immediately just for Derrick Henry that you talk about a lot. But I do like Jefferson, Brown, Waddle, Moore, Pitts. Wow, yeah. Rice. Oh, <laughs> T. 
two. Well, he waited until the 12th round to get Tua. Well done, juggernauts, whoever that is. Wow. He's got yeah, some nice wide receivers people. there as well, hasn't he? Yeah. He, he, he? He does. Um, Chase Brown could be the one, and he got him in the 11th. Yeah. Justin Jefferson, AJ Brown, and let's say out of all them, probably nine Rushy Rice would be your starting three just on paper in their positions in their teams. And that could be a killer three for him. Yeah. Kyle Pitts. By the sounds of what they're talking about, the 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 treating him more like a wide receiver this year, like he was at Florida, and then if Kirk Cousins plays as he does, and Pitts gets that production like Florida, like he he could be a monster. This is the last year for Pitts, though. If he doesn't do it now, and he, he's actually got a quarterback who can throw the ball, he 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 dusted him. He's in the wasteland of fantasy. Well, I'm really liking what the uh, the Dickens Health Demons did here. And even the Lancaster Bombers are looking at me. This is a much more difficult league for me to choose a favorite. Just in case he's watching, the Lancaster Bombers is team's crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it now. Looking at it now, it looks absolutely just, terrible. Okay. Uninstall his sleeper app so he doesn't realize how terrible his teams sucks. He's got one quarterback though, and he's uh, and he's always like that. He's like, oh, it's a one quarterback league, so why would I bother? But looking at all the quarterbacks that have been picked up, who's he when Purdy's on by? Who's he taking? Yeah, the same with Allen, the guy that the, he's taking the, the, the other team. He only has Allen. He's taking a yeah. fat. He's taking a, just a fat L. And I hope he's watching. He'll he'll appear eventually because I'll rate him enough for him to comment. So uh... <laughs> he'll rage quit. <laughs> All right. So again, I hate to rush you here, Pez. I've made the choice first in the last league, so I will let you have the honors in this league. A lot of good teams I see uh, are a lot of potential good teams. Uh, McGonagall's team with the Portland Lumberjacks. You know, he always seems to do well, and I can't say he did poorly in this league as either. Yeah, uh, I was looking at his team. Look, he's, he, he's got a good balance there. I don't like uh, yeah. Junior Colson out of everyone he could have picked in his IDP. I don't know why, why he's gone for um, an unproven rookie in that situation. Um, I don't know, does... I really like Jalen Wright in the 16th round. Mm, do, yeah. Delboy Dexter. Come on at Kings. He's got Kenneth Walker. So do, do I just go with him because he's got Ken Walker? He's got good three uh, wide receivers there. Cooper Cup, Mike Evans, uh, Amari Cooper. I do like them. Tyler Lockett's always um, a decent little backup to have. Um, the only hit he takes is for having to have to play three wide receivers. He's only got four in his team. Um, mm. Schultz, I'm not mm. a big thing on yeah. if that's your tight end one because there's just too too much with that team to not know. Like, at this point, like he, he could take a whack there. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling it for the Kings, to be honest with you, even though they do have a lot water. of just, balance. Uh, but I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll go. I'll go with him because I do. I, I actually do like his team. But he's not watching because I would have. You're going with the Kings. No, I'm going with uh, the Lanc Lancashire Bombers. Lancaster uh, Bombers. I'll Can scroll. we see that team again, Johnny? Can you scroll up? Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. Result. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I. All right. I'm going with the Juggernauts. The juggernauts. Yeah. The team right before. The bombers. Yeah, I don't, okay, yeah. I see why you've Brown, done that. Waddle, Moore. Then wide receivers. He's he, yeah. he's he's gone heavy on it, and I think um, yeah. Brandon Cooks is also a very late slept on wide receiver. He's the at the end of the day, he, yeah. he's the two for the Cowboys, and currently their one isn't at training camp. And CD Lamb is CD Lamb. Like he's proven enough that he's good enough, but still. Mm. 
he's nowhere to at the moment. He's nowhere to be seen. So if that carries on or that gets yeah. takes a left turn, what no one's looking at, Brandon Cooks automatically becomes the main factor. So uh, I'm going with the juggernaut. You're going with the bombers. And I will go with the demons as the dark horse that might uh, bite some people in the ass there. It's not, uh, I'm liking that team with Prescott and Daniels as well. 